So we're gonna uh, take off this mirror so we can do the door. Um, what I can tell, it's just a couple torque screws and I believe a clip inside that hides the um, uh, electric connection. So we're gonna pull back this rubber seal. Um, and then there are T40 bolts. So, get three bolts out. Get on there nice and snug. Okay, so the mirror is now loose and there's a little plastic cover here that hides the uh, connection. So we will get this kind of shimmy it out. There we go. Cool. So connections out. We're gonna come from the other side or the mirror so we have a little more working room and this just pops right out. We're gonna guide out the cable and cool. Got your mirror. Now we're gonna put it inside the car here where it's not gonna drop, fall, or get scratched up. Leave our tools in there uh, and we're pretty much ready to install. Nice clean area. Now that we got the uh, mirror off, we're gonna take off this uh, rubber trim on the door and I believe you should be able to just kind of push it back. And then it just pops right out. That will also go inside of the car so we don't lose it. And then now we can tuck it all the way in and it'll be the good. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so we're gonna brush the edges. Knock off any loose dirt. So it doesn't come out when it's stalling it and there's a bunch of water being flushed everywhere. I'm gonna spray the panel and the ones adjacent to it so we can get a squeegee. Now we're gonna get a big squeegee. Get all the big dirt particles out of the way. And then squeeze you over onto the adjacent panels. Make sure we don't drag any dirt from those. I'm gonna do this twice. Now we're ready for install. Get our panel wet. Come over to the piece of film. Peel off the backing. Now we're gonna carry it over to our panel. Now we did have to cut all of these in bulk because there are no patterns for this car. So we had to measure out every panel and figure out how to puzzle it together onto one roll of bulk material. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is throw a little bit of tack on this side. Or this side. Tag it onto the adjacent panel. Same on the other side. I'm just gonna give it a light, light stretch. Squeegee that all the way to the edge. Now we can work on the rest of it. And we're throwing down tack that way once we squeeze it, it's stuck. Can we work out the material here? And we're good to start squeezing. Okay. 
Okay. Now we're gonna stretch it just a little bit towards the corner. Since we can't wrap over, we're gonna try to make the film kind of bend itself over it. Same on this side. Now we can get the rest of the area. And now what we're doing is just drying the area down and checking for any dirt or any other debris that might be under there since this is really glossy material it'll 100 percent show through and we got nothing so we can move on to the next section which is going to be this top part spray down tack give it a slight Pull towards the corner. Hold that there for a second so it stays. Okay. Now, because this is such a hard body line, you want to make sure you squeegee before it so you don't end up with just a bunch of moisture. And this panel is basically done. Just time to cut it up, heat it. I'm gonna start cutting this up and we're basically just gonna use the gap between that panel and the next one. And again, because these are 90 degree corners, it's tucked in, it folds into itself. We're actually gonna, in order to cut this, I'm gonna tap the film onto the glass. So I'm just going straight. And then now when we cut, the film won't, won't move and give us a wonky line. All you need is for it to be held up. There should be just enough to go underneath. And because it's tacked to the glass, we don't have to worry about the pressure we're putting, making the film get all wonky, giving us a jagged cut. Now here, there's the space for where the thing is at. So we're just gonna do a rough cut. Just 
so we can make it easier to work on. And then we're gonna do sort of a final squeegee on the edges, just in case there's any little bits of water hiding right on the edge. And make it easier to heat up. We're gonna start with this first edge, the leading edge. And the reason is so that we can open the door without the film catching and then pulling back the film. So since it's a pretty big gap, I'm using my squeegee wrapped over the sway towel. Room is nice and hot. And this way we have no exposed edges. And the film has somewhere to grab onto. Now this, because it's basically sort of a 45-ish corner, the way we're gonna heat that is away from it. So I'm going this way and that way to kind of spread the film. Otherwise it'll bunch up. It might still bunch up a little bit, but we can just go back and trim it afterwards. As long as most of the corner is wrapped, we're in a good spot. Same with this one. And go away from it. And then the film shouldn't butt up. Or if it does, it should be very minimal. Good stopping point and we can open the door now safely knowing nothing's gonna get caught and we can heat up the rest of it away from the corner and still get a nicely wrapped corner so you see there we're still wrapping over the corner it's rounding out we don't have too much material I'm getting a bunch of just crumped up film so that should have no problem sticking and it won't look ugly I haven't posted any content in the van yet, man. Yeah. Oh, that is pretty cool, actually. That is really cool. Hey, this looks black from here? <laughs> Silver from here? Chrome from here? Stick! <laughs> Matte black chrome. Is that what they call it? Matte black chrome? Yeah. Yeah. It still looks like, oh, it's blinding in the sun. <laughs> I think it's as blinding as a regular stainless would be in the sun. Huh? Stack matte black chrome. This is sick. This looks very chrome when the sun's on it. You can like, it's, it's actually more reflective than the uh, stainless is. Uh, when you look at it from an angle, it looks satin black. And when you look at it straight on, it looks as like really deep silver black 
chrome color. I don't know how to describe it. It looks awesome though. That is so cool. Go, go pan by the hood in the sun though. Again, this is Steck USA, prototype film, not available to the public yet. They provided it because they said, hey, first Cybertruck you're wrapping needs to be something crazy. So let's make it matte black chrome. Can you see it, the, the reflection? Yeah, it's like blinding. Yeah, right here, right yeah, here. Yeah, Jesus. Right here, it's so powerful, actually. Look, it's completely white, <laughs> the sun. Yeah, pretty cool. Very, very cool. I can't wait to see this thing done. Dope, dope, dope.